the night that that happened, it was just this crazy, surreal experience. It's like you sort of have an out-of-body experience. It's something you've dreamed of your whole life, never really thought it was something you would, would have. And so, and Cindy Lauper presented it to me, which is odd in itself. <laughs> but it was this amazing kind of surreal night. And um, we went back to the hotel when the night was over. It's in, it's in Los Angeles. And we went back to our hotel, my wife and I, and it was like four o'clock in the morning. And we were just like out on the balcony of our hotel room, like screaming and just so excited. And the hotel knew that we had won and they'd given me like a bottle of champagne. And it was just this amazing night. And so for about a year, I just sort of had this in my mind and never wrote it. And um, I went into a write one day with uh, a guy named Ross Copperman and another Ooh. writer named Matt Jenkins. Wow, people know Ross, JMU. really? JMU. Wow. Yeah. Uh, oh, JMU. Yeah. Wow, that's where he went to college. If you met Ross, you wouldn't think he went to college, but he did. <laughs> um, and Ross played this piece of music, and uh, it just, all these memories flooded out. And um, so we wrote this song, and it, it, was, it was a very special, very personal song for me. It was, it was about that night with my wife in L.A., and then it ended up being recorded by Kenny Chesney. And this time, he actually did keep it on the record, <laughs> and he got a big uh, singer to sing on it with him, Pink. So this is setting the world on fire. so much. Woo!